Joshua 18, if you have it, you may honor the Lord by standing tonight. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Joshua 18. Thank God. And the whole congregation of the children of Israel assembled together at Shiloh and set up the tabernacle of the congregation there, and the land was subdued before them. Praise God. And there remained among the children of Israel seven tribes which had not yet received their inheritance. Listen now. There remained among the children of Israel seven tribes which had not yet received their inheritance. And Joshua said unto the children of Israel, How long are ye slack to go and possess the land which the Lord God of your fathers have given you? Praise God. Give out from, uh, from among you three men for each tribe. I will send them and they shall rise and go through the land. Listen. And describe it according to the inheritance of them and they shall come again to me. They shall divide it into seven parts. Judah shall abide in their coast on the south and the house of Joseph shall abide in their coast on the north. Ye shall therefore describe the land unto seven parts and bring the description hither to me that I may cast lots for you here before the Lord. But the Levites have no part among you for the priesthood of the Lord is their inheritance. And Gad... And Reuben and half of the tribe of Manasseh have received their inheritance beyond Jordan on the east, which Moses, the servant of the Lord, gave them. And the Bible said the men arose and went away. And Joshua charged them that went to describe the land, saying, Go and walk through the land and describe it. And come again to me, that I may here cast lots for you before the Lord in Shiloh. And the men went and passed through the land and described it by cities in the seven parts in a book. And came again to Joshua to the host at Shiloh. And Joshua cast lots for them in Shiloh before the Lord. And there Joshua divided the land unto the children of Israel according to their divisions. Ask God's blessings upon the reading of his word tonight. Praise the Lord. Father, we love you and honor you, God, tonight. Use us, Lord, in this house. Love to do your will, O oh God. Love for you, Lord, to touch us, Father, tonight. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. As I get ready to preach to us tonight, I do want to say this, and I don't say this lightly. I say this with a truthful heart tonight. I'd like to preach this, really. Never preached from these scriptures before, but I'd like to preach this tonight with the burden that I have felt on my heart to preach with. And I'd love for you to pray for me, amen, that I could deliver this as I felt like I had a burden to preach tonight, amen. And I won't preach to somebody tonight on the thought, why don't you want your inheritance? Why, why don't you want? your inheritance amen look with me again in the word of god tonight and the bible said amen there remain in the second verse among the children of israel seven tribes which had not yet received 
their inheritance. And Joshua listened to the words of the man of God, said unto the children of Israel, How long are ye slack to go to possess the land which the Lord God your fathers have given you? Amen. Praise God. Some of the people here, according to the word that we've read tonight, had not yet taken hold of what belonged to them. It was their inheritance. And I thought about tonight that word inheritance. When you think about an inheritance, it's really not something, amen, that you actually merited. It's not something that you actually labored for yourself. Amen. But it is something that somebody else, amen, has worked out and has labored, amen, and put forth great effort that when they, amen, get ready to pass it on, they pass it on to you. And that is something that you are inheriting as a gift, amen, from them as they have worked hard to, amen, gain and possess. Praise God. And uh, I thought as I read here, amen, tonight, these people, the Bible said here, amen, thank God, that the land was already subdued before them. Praise God. Amen. The war had already been fought. Amen. The battle had already been won. Amen. These people was just procrastinating. Amen. From doing the will of God and in taking hold of the inheritance that was left to them. Amen. Thank God all they had to do, amen, was to go in and take a hold of that inheritance. Praise God. Amen. But uh, here the Bible said that Joshua was Saul and amen, he's looking at these people and they had not yet went and got a hold of it and received it. And he said unto them, How long are ye slack to go to possess the land which your Lord God, your fathers, has given you? Amen. He is telling them, Amen, it is time. It's past time. Amen. You should have already got up. Amen. And gone on. Amen. And received what belonged to you. Hallelujah. Thank God, I don't know, I could only guess, amen, why these people, amen, was not going forward to possess their inheritance. Amen, I could only, amen, imagine that, amen, in their mind, praise God, they, amen, just wasn't willing, amen, to go forward and take a hold of that that belonged to them. Thank God, amen, I, I want to I wanna really, amen, think about tonight, Thank God, if this was a, a real value to these people, if this was something that they really cared about and was real interested in Amen. and a real value to them, I, I just believe that it wouldn't have took them as long as it did, Amen, for them to go and get a hold of that inheritance, thank God. But somehow or another, it just laid there. Amen. It was there for them. As I said, the war had already been won. The forefathers, amen, had already left it to them. It was theirs, amen, but they just failed to get up, amen, and go inherit what was theirs. And in my mind, as I read these scriptures, amen, the only thing I can think about as a question in my mind is why did not they want their inheritance? Why did they want Amen. Their inheritance. Praise God. And I, I feel tonight that I'm preaching, amen, to us here tonight. Thank God. Amen. Somebody adjust that air, please. Amen. Bump it down just a little bit. I see fans all over the church. Amen. Praise God. Uh, I thought tonight, amen, as my heart was really burdened about this and I got to thinking about it. Amen. I thought about many of you that are sitting here tonight, amen, have been handed an inheritance. Amen. Thank God. We have a great inheritance. Thank God. Amen. I, I wonder if there may be some among us tonight that doesn't really understand the value 
of what's being handed to them. Come on. Amen. Thank God I, I was seeking today. Amen, Sister Mary. It is my ultimate desire. Amen. You see what I am doing. Amen. As a preacher and as a minister and a holiness man. Thank God I am investing my entire life. Amen. In this that I'm preaching about. I'm investing. Amen. My entire amen, time and effort. Amen. In what I'm preaching about. This Bible. This holiness way. Thank God I believe in it. I'm, I'm persuaded of it 100%. Amen. That what I'm working in and what I'm laboring in, thank God it is right. Thank God. And it's worth, amen, brother, putting my shoulder to the plow. Amen, brother, and working for it and laboring and sweating. Amen, brother, to see, amen, this work go forward. Amen. But where my burden is tonight, amen, all of the work and the effort to, Amen, that I'm doing uh, as much as I believe in it and as much as I'm preaching about it. Uh, thank God I want to leave, uh, amen, an inheritance uh, that somebody in my family, amen, somebody that I love, uh, thank God will get a hold uh, of this same thing that I'm doing, uh, amen, this same burden that I got. Uh, amen, brother, get a hold of it, uh, amen, and go on with it. Uh, thank God it's an inheritance. Amen. And I don't want to see it fall through the cracks. Amen. Come on. Praise God. Hallelujah. I, I, I get troubled when I see, amen, how that, amen, holiness children has been raised right, had praying parents and grandparents, and, amen, had the way blazed before them. Amen. Let me tell you something. I'm going to preach to you tonight if the Lord will help me. Amen, my friend, you don't realize just what's been done. Amen, thank God that it can be handed to you. You don't realize, amen, how the path had to be cut down. Amen, how the labor, amen, was put in this thing. Amen. Thank God many of us today are just benefic beneficiaries of it. Amen, it's been handed to us, thank God. But Brother Woody, I'm finding now, amen, brother, there's some paths, amen, that I'm having to work. Amen, there's some roads I'm having to hoe. Amen, there's some, amen, hard work. Amen, that I'm putting in. Amen. Grandpa put in his. Daddy put in his. Amen. Now it's time. Amen. That I have to put in mine. Why is that? Because there's another generation. Amen. That's coming in behind me. Amen. My friend. I don't want this thing to die out. I don't want this thing to fall through the cracks. But I want somebody amen, to get a hold of it and go on with it and carry it on for God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As I was a praying, the thought come to me, why don't you want your inheritance? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, I have, I have seen and I've heard about it. We've had some different people to come into our place of business, Brother Robbie. They've been older people. Some of them, they were purchasing their monument, their tombstone. And some of them was very wealthy people. Some of them, amen, owned a lot of things. Hallelujah. Amen. I, I've, I've known some right here in town, right here in Pembroke. I go to Hardy's on, on, on most of the mornings. Amen. And there's a, there's a boy that walks the streets in Pembroke. Praise God. He, he'll go in Hardy's early in the morning because he's been out laying out all night. And he'll go in Hardy's and they'll let him go in the bathroom and freshen up. Amen. His daddy was a school teacher right here in Pembroke. Praise God. Left a home. Amen. Had amen, plenty. He's raised in a good home. Praise God, Brother Chris. And I've talked to several people and they told me, they said, Preacher, that boy don't have to live like he's living. Said he's got a family that loves him. He's got a people, amen, that's left him, amen, something behind. Amen, he's got an inheritance, amen, but he has chosen, amen, instead of taking a hold of that inheritance, he has decided, amen, I don't even want what is handed to me. I don't want it. 
Amen. I've, I've known people, amen, that's got children. Amen, brother. They've got plenty, amen, to leave their children when they're dead. Amen. But their children don't want to have a thing to do with mom and daddy. They don't want nothing mom and daddy's got. Amen. They want to they wanna go their own way. Amen. But they don't realize it's mom and daddy that brought them in the world. Amen. Nobody will ever love them like mom and daddy will. Amen. Mom and daddy will work their fingers to the nub. Amen. That they'll have something, brother. Amen. And then they don't even want their inheritance. Amen. Help me preach right here just a minute. Amen. That's the same way it is. Amen. Right here in the house of God. Amen. My friend, I want to tell you. Amen. This holiness way. Amen. This gospel way. It's a lot more valuable than a million dollars in the bank. My God. It's a lot more valuable than all the land in the world. Thank God this is a gift. Amen. That come from heaven. It's it's an inheritance uh, that'll see you through life. Amen. Glory to God. Why wouldn't you want your inheritance? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm telling you, it's just a gift. It's a bonus. It's a gift of love. Why would you turn that down? Hallelujah. Amen. Many, many years ago, as I was praying about this and thinking about this message, Hey, but my daddy was raised in South Florida, and uh, his uncles, hey, amen, a lot of people don't know this, and I haven't told it a whole lot around, but my, my daddy's mother, which had been my grandmother, set my daddy's clothes out on the side of the road when he was nine years old and told him to get. Praise God. He was left out in the, in the, in the world. Hey, amen. He went to his grandmother's, went to his uncle's. Amen. And they worked my daddy on the farm. Praise God. My grandmother was a very, very jealous woman. Amen. She was uh, some some think, amen. She had some uh, imbalances of some some sort. Amen. She she definitely had some issues. Amen. She was very, very jealous, and she just put my daddy's clothes out on the on the road, told him to get when he was nine years old. Amen. He went to work for my uncles or his uncles down in South Florida. They owned land and had farms. Praise God. Daddy worked hard. Amen. Worked hard. Thank God. Back then in the day, Daddy told me. See, my daddy was born in 1929. Amen. Daddy told me. He said, well, I work all week. Amen. And they'd give me, I believe it was 50 cent, maybe 25 cent. Amen. To go to town to have a good weekend. Praise God. He said he'd go to town. He said he'd go to the movies. That 50 cent, get him in the movies. Amen. Get him something to drink. Praise God. Get him a hamburger, whatever he wanted. Amen. That was his gift that he had. Amen. He worked for all week long. Praise God. But daddy, daddy told me, he said he worked hard. He was loyal. Amen. A loyal worker to his uncles. Amen. And his uncles owned some land. Amen. Right there in Fort Myers, Florida. Praise God. And uh, Daddy, told him, uh, Daddy told me about it. He said his uncles come to him one day and he said, Jack, said you've been good. Amen. You've worked hard on the farm. He said, we're getting old. And he said, I want to give you and your brother, amen, a portion of our property and our land. Amen. Praise God. Daddy was just young, amen, and ignorant. Praise God. Daddy looked at his uncle. He said, ah, oh, I don't want that old palmetto land. I don't want that old palmetto land. Praise God. Amen. Daddy didn't know what he had turned down. That land got sold. Amen. And then it got sold again. Amen. And where we're, we're from there in Fort Myers, amen, Thomas Edison, amen, had a winter home, amen, in Fort Myers, Florida. And Henry Ford. Amen. That owned the Ford Motor. They both of them had a home right beside one another. Amen. Right there. Amen. On that water. Amen. At the Gulf of Mexico. Amen. Right there at our hometown in Fort Myers, Florida. Praise God. When that property got sold, right, it was right in the center of the town of a uh, city of Fort Myers, big city. Amen. Right in the center, the the developers bought it. Amen. And they built the big Thomas Edison Mall. Amen, where 
Belks and Dillards, amen, and all of them places, amen, I mean the big, big mall named after Thomas Edison. I don't know, amen, what that land, amen, so far, praise God, but daddy told his uncles, I don't want that old palmetto land, praise God, amen, many, many years later, amen, when he saw that big old mall, amen, he regretted, amen, that he turned it down, praise God. Amen. I just feel like telling somebody. Amen. Holiness might not look pretty to you right now. Amen. Living right and living right and holy with God. Amen. Might not be too popular with you right now. You might not can see the value of it right now. Amen. But it's an inheritance. Hear this little old preacher. It's an inheritance. Amen. Brother, that money cannot buy. And one day, believe it or not, Amen. You wish them many a time. Amen. That you grabbed a hold of it. Uh, thank God you invested in it. Amen. Brother, it went on with it. Thank God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. It's just, it's just an inheritance. Hallelujah. Thank God. Oh, it's just handed to us. Glory to God. Amen. And I can see old Joshua. Amen. Amen. Now, looking here at these tribes. Praise God. Amen. He, as he looked at them, he saw a land. Amen. That was already theirs. Amen. It was just laying out there. It belonged to them. Amen. Thank God. Hallelujah. Just, amen, over the last few years, I don't know why I got so many stories, but, amen, the last few years, thank God, my grandmother, amen, down in Fort, amen, right out of Fort Myers, amen, right on the Clusahatchee, the intercoastal waterway, amen, she had a piece of property, thank God, amen, and that piece of property got abandoned by my entire family, amen, none of my uncles, none of my aunts, none of my cousins, none of them, amen, Nate, none of them laid, laid claim on that property. In fact, in the state of Florida, amen, if you don't pay taxes on property for a certain amount of years, amen, somebody can come in and pay taxes on that property, amen, and after paying taxes on it for, I don't believe it's maybe seven years, amen, they can get a quick claim deed, amen, on that property. Thank God it's sat there, amen, vacant for years. Thank God it belonged to my grandmother, still in my grandmother's name. It was never probated. Amen. It never was put in. Amen. Probated in court. Praise God. My daddy was the executor of her estate. He never did go to probate. Never executed nothing. Praise God. There it set. Amen. Right up, right almost on the intercoastal waterway. Very valuable property. And there was an individual back home. Amen. I know his name, but I didn't know him. Amen. He started paying taxes on that property every year. Amen. I got to preach to you just a minute tonight. Amen. If you don't want this, somebody will come along and want it. Help me. Amen. If it don't look valuable to you and you turn your nose up at it, amen, there'll be somebody. Amen. That'll come along and they'll see the value of it. Hallelujah. I'm preaching to you tonight. Don't miss out on your inheritance. Don't turn it away, brother. It's a handed to you from heaven. Glory to God. Amen. Oh, and I thought about, praise God, there. Amen. Years went by and that man started paying taxes on grandma's property. Thank God. And I kept asking my daddy and mother about it. What in the world? Amen. Why would y'all just let that property go? Praise God. Amen. Nobody had any answers. They didn't just, just abandon the property. Praise God. And uh, so I contacted the county amen, tax appraisal office. Amen. I wrote them a letter and I told them who I was. That was my grandmother's property. Amen. Somebody was trying to obtain it through paying taxes on it. And I put my name down and I told them, I said, I want you to start sending me, amen, the tax bill to that property. Praise God. And lo and behold, I didn't know how none of that worked, amen. But after just a little while, amen, they sent me the tax bill. Amen. It says Lily Smith, amen, uh, in care, amen, of Andrew Smith. Amen. And I, they send me that bill every month, every, every year, and I pay the taxes on grandmama's property. Praise God. 
God. Amen. Just laying there empty and abandoned. Praise God. I went ahead on. Amen. Thank God. Didn't know where, amen, the, the lines were. Thank God. Listen to me. Amen. Thank God. I, I, I'm just going to be frank with you and honest with you. I'll never, according to the lawyers, I've contacted several many, I will never be able to actually ever own the property. Only way I could ever own the property is it would have to go into probate. All of my grandmother's children are dead. It would have to go to their, amen, to their children, uh, all of my cousins. And if any of those are dead, it had to go to their children. And it would keep going, amen. And, and there would be no way you could get agreement from all of them because I have a big family. Praise God. But you know what I did? I said, instead of abandoning, that was my grandmother's property. She paid for it. Amen. She labored for it. Praise God. And nobody didn't want it. Hallelujah. I'm paying taxes on it. Won't never be able to own it. But I can use it as long as I want to. Just like it's mine. Amen. And I went down there. Amen. Thank God. Won't never be able to own it. But I got a $3,000 fence. A chain link fence. I cut. I hired, amen, the, the surveying company. I said, I want you to mark, amen, where the corners are. Grown up, amen, didn't know where it was. Amen, got the fence company to come out and put a fence around it. Amen, I've got a, a lawn service to go out every month. Now it's two times a month. Amen, $75 every time they mow it. Amen, but now you can drive up there to my grandmother's property. Amen, brother, and I'm getting letters in the mail. Believe it or not, I'm getting letters in the mail. Amen. Do you want to sell? Amen. That property. Praise God. No. Amen. It was an inheritance that none of the rest of them wanted. Amen. I might not never be able to own it, but I figure it's worth. Amen. Spending a little bit of money on it belonged to my grandmother. Oh, hallelujah. Let me tell you tonight. Amen. This holiness way. Amen. This inheritance has been handed to us. It's valuable. Thank God. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. I feel like preaching just a little bit. Glory to God. Amen. Do you know we've got people that come to this church? Amen. That's not even saved. I thought about Judy this morning. Amen, brother. She's not saved. But you know why she comes to this church? Amen, brother. Because this was her roots. Amen. This is where mama went. This is where daddy went. This is where grandpa founded the church. I might not be a Christian. Amen. But I don't want to see the doors fold up. I might not be a Christian. Amen. But I see the value of that inheritance. We've got lost people. Amen. Brother, that knows there's an inheritance right here at Mount Zion. I want to plead to some of you young people today. Amen. Don't throw your inheritance away. Don't waste your inheritance. Get a hold of it, brother. Amen. Brother, it's for you. Hallelujah. Amen. It's been left to you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I preached Brother Hugh Hargrove's daughter's funeral just the other day. You know she had passed away. And uh, Brother Hugh Hargrove, they don't never call me. They don't ever have anything to do with me unless they have a death. They'll call me and want to know if I preached a funeral. I preached several of their funerals. And he called me the other day. He said, Brother Smith, he said, I want to see if you preach a funeral. I said, who in the world died? He said, my daughter has passed away. Amen. And uh, we got to talking. And my daddy, I was just a young boy. Amen. Daddy moved back to Florida and he had had a bad stroke. I, I wasn't, he had been too, too old anyway. Praise God. And my daddy didn't really ask me a whole lot about his business stuff. He just done what he done. Amen. Daddy wasn't able to get out on the streets and preach no more. Well, Brother Hugh had been helping daddy preach on the streets. Daddy had a big trailer. It was fixed up with speakers and fixed up with all kinds of uh, mics and equipment. He would go out in that street, amen, all over and preach the gospel. Praise God. Amen. And Brother Hugh told me the other day when I was on the phone with him, he said, Brother Andrew, I got every bit of your daddy's, all of his equipment, all of his trailer, his mics, all of his equipment. He said, I still got it. It's still all intact. 
He said, I don't get to use it. Amen. And you know what? I really don't have money to waste. Thank God. But I told him, I said, Brother Hugh, I said, if you ever get rid or decide you want to get rid of daddy's stuff, I said, if you don't mind, would you call me and give me the first opportunity, amen, that I could buy back, amen, my daddy's stuff and what he had labored and worked for. Will I ever use it? I don't know if I will or not. Amen. But it's part of my inheritance. Oh, glory. Somebody said, Brother Edgar, I'm just not the sentimental kind. Amen. When it comes to this old time salvation. Amen. When this comes from this, it comes from glory. I'm sentimental about it. Amen. Thank God. It's valuable to me. It means something to me. Daddy's done gold to glory, but he left something behind him. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Oh, one of these days, amen, I'm going to get my call. Amen. I'll be left this whole world. Amen. But I hope, amen, that my son Nathaniel, I hope that my daughter Abigail, if I got some grandchildren to come along one day, I hope they'll get a hold, amen, of what God blessed me with and carry it on for God. Brother Chris, God's going to call you home one day. Amen. But I hope it's embedded in Tamara. Amen. In Cody's mind. Amen. Them big old stakes with that sledgehammer. Amen. Put that old gospel tent up. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Daddy labored. Daddy worked. Thank God it may be foolish to the world, but it's part of my inheritance. Amen. Ahab said I'll give you money for it Old Naboth If you'll just sell me your vineyard Hallelujah Amen I'll give you more than what it's worth Naboth Hallelujah Had the choices to vines Naboth took care of that vineyard Oh I feel like preaching just a little bit here tonight Hallelujah. I, I really, I believe with all my heart, Sister Deanna, that before I come here to Pastor Brother Prescott was serious, amen, about this church. I believe Sister Prescott was serious about this church. I believe their labor was right on target. Amen. I believe their heart was right. I believe they were doing their best to plant the choicest vines. I believe, amen, they were doing their best to do it right. Thank God, and I thought about, sister, amen, I've come in behind them. Hallelujah. Amen, I don't want to take this thing lightly. Thank God I've been handed something. Amen, it's glorious. Amen, it's valuable. Hallelujah. Amen, thank God. And old Naboth said, I've worked hard for this thing. Amen, I've kept the thorns and the thistles out. Amen, I've took the rocks out. I've planted the choicest vines. Amen, oh, Ahab said, but I'll give you more than what it's worth. Oh, Brother Naboth said, be it far from me. Amen, to sell you, thank God, my inheritance. Thank God, it means something to me. Glory to God, glory to God. Hallelujah, I was talking to some of the folks here at this church right here. Thank God, Amen. And they said, Brother Andrew, hey, this is where my mama shouted. This is where, amen, my people rejoiced and praised God. This is where, amen, God brought us to. Amen. Thank God. Now I want to tell you what, brother, if it's your inheritance, get in behind it. Amen. Thank God. Amen. Work for it. Do everything you can. Amen. For your inheritance. Hallelujah. Thank God. Uh, I got to read in this scripture here where Joshua said, Why has it took you so long to go and possess your inheritance? It's there for you. Young people, hear me. My son Nathaniel, he knows I love him. Tamara, God knows, Sister Kendra, all these young girls, young boys, Tristan, all of y'all. Amen. I want to encourage you tonight. Praise God. You have got something that the devil would love to tell you. Amen. It ain't worth nothing. Praise God. It ain't worth nothing. 
Just leave it all behind and just go on your way and do what you want to do. And I want to tell you there will come a day, and you might not see it right now, but there will come a day you'll realize just what it means. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, babe, this is something that they to take a hold of and love and cherish with all you got. Hey, but I have really felt a burden on my heart today. Why don't you want your inheritance? Why don't you want it? Amen. I, I thought, Sister Flossie, if some of these young'uns, amen, was left a million-dollar check, I wonder how long it would take them to put their hand out and say, give it to me. Some of them was left a brand-new car. Hey, but I wonder how long it would say, Daddy, where's the keys? I want to take it for a drive. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hey, but, oh, hey, but, but how about this wonderful salvation? Right. How about this good way of God? Hey, but I want to get a hold of that and carry it on. Hey, but, just as a young boy. Hey, but, I'm coming to a close right here just as a young boy. Hey, Amen. Thank God I got to look in it. Hey, but, the old saints, hallelujah. I, I don't want to, I don't want to, amen, sound like I'm tooting my horn or anything like that because I'm not. I'm not. Amen. We've done a lesson tonight in the, in the youth department, and uh, I thought it turned out very well. And Brother, Brother Tim said, Brother Andrew, he said, son, where did you get all your wisdom from? I said, Brother, I don't have it unless God gives it to me. I don't have it. But I tell you what I done as a young age, while they were studying, the young people were studying all of these fancy places of the world and acquiring all these things that the world is seeking after. Even as a young boy, even I set my affections and I set my thoughts, even on this holiness way and serving God. Hallelujah, amen. And I saw them old saints of God, sister, when they shouted the victory. Praise God, God, and the power of God was on them. Hallelujah. And I got to looking at that, Brother Chris, and it looked to me like anything I saw that the world had to offer could not compare, amen, to what them old saints, the power of God, that it get on their life. Amen. It just thrilled my heart. Amen. And it, it, it made me decide as a young age. I said, that's where I want to put my investments. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Why you say that, Brother Smith? There was an old there's an old preacher. Amen. I know him pretty good. Amen, brother, brother. He preached here many, many years ago. Amen, Brother Lee. Sister Catherine Lee and Brother Charles Lee. I don't know if any of y'all ever remember them or not. Amen. They preached here many years ago. Brother Charles Lee was in the military. Praise God, back in the war. Hallelujah. And that was back in the days they were coming out, just coming out with the MRI machines. Amen. Praise God. And Brother, amen, some of them come to him. Brother brother Charles, amen, thank God, he, he, he amen, had some disabilities. Praise God. But they come to him and they said, Charles said, you'll regret it if you don't invest some money in the MRI machine. Old brother Charles, a lot of people thought he was crazy. Amen. But he put a, all he had near about in those MRI machines. Hallelujah. They spread all over the world. Amen. He is an old man. And he looked at me one day. He said, I don't work for money. My money works for me. Praise God. He invested in it long, many years ago. Hallelujah. Well, I invested, amen, in this holiness way. And I want to tell you what, it's a paying off. Hear me, it's a working for me. Hallelujah. Thank God, brother, I invested in something. Thank God that's a paying off. If you see anything good about brother Andrew, it's because I decided, amen, to get a hold, amen, of the good inheritance that's been handed down to me. Thank God. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. 
Amen. I want to tell you something. Hear me today. Amen. If anybody can make you a millionaire, it's God Almighty. If anybody can give you favor, it's God Almighty. If anybody can bless you until it's running over, it's God Almighty. Amen. You might not want him, but I'm going to tell you today, he'll be the best choice you ever made in life. Oh, I was young and now I'm old, but I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor a seed begging bread. The best investment I ever made. Hallelujah. Thank God, and it's a paying off. It's a paying off. Glory to God. I was talking to somebody just the other day, coming to a close, Lord willing. Amen. And they told me, they said, Brother Andrew, they, come, they started coming to this church just a few years ago. And they said, Brother Andrew, them plain dressed people, some of them wear homemade dresses. Amen. They don't go to the beauty shop. They got their homemade hairdos. Amen. They look like just poor people. He said, I was sure enough fool. He said, them people's got money. Hey, man, them people's blessed. Them people's got good jobs. Hey, hear me today. It might not be something pretty to the world. Hey, man, brother, it might not be something attractive to the world. Hey, man, but when God blesses you, brother, hear me, the devil can't do nothing about it. Thank God forever. Amen. I'm telling you, brother, the world looks at us and they turn their nose at us. Amen. But brother, he blesses me coming in and he blesses me going out. He just keeps on pouring out those blessings. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God. I'm going to quit preaching after a while. Amen. Thank God. But if, if you'd rather trade, amen, what God's got and God's blessings, amen, for a worldly good time, amen, go ahead. If you'd rather trade this good godly inheritance, amen, for what the world's got to offer, go ahead. But you'll find out after a while, amen, those things that the world offers, thank God in a rug will be pulled out from under you after a while. Amen. After a while, you'll look around and you'll find yourself empty. Oh, glory. But serving God, oh, it's the best life you'll ever live. Thank God. I wish I could talk somebody into getting a hold of your inheritance tonight. Praise God forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, Brother Fletcher used to come pick me up, take me all over the place, and we'd go off preaching. Hey, man, Brother Hester, I was raised up underneath Brother Hester. Raised up underneath my daddy and Brother Stone, married my wife and myself. Praise God. Underneath some of them old preachers. Thank God. Hey, Amen. And uh, uh, thank God I got to thinking. Hey, Amen. My life has been enriched and blessed. Hey, Amen. By this goodly inheritance. Amen. I believe it was Brother brother Eric that asked me the other day. Amen. Maybe he won't mind me saying. He said, Brother Andrew, out of all the preachers, amen, that you was raised up under them old preachers, he said, who do you liken yourself to the most? Amen. Ones that was most impacted your life. Amen. Which one of those old preachers, amen, do you liken to yourself to the most? I believe is kind of the way he had put it. Amen. And I said, Brother, I don't guess, amen, that I can think of one in particular person, a preacher, amen, that I can liken myself to. All I can tell you was, amen, I got a hold of a little bit here, and I got a hold of a little bit there, and I got a hold of a little bit there, and I just gleaned, amen, praise God. Oh, hallelujah. I got a hold of my inheritance. Hallelujah. Thank God forever. Amen. They're dead gold, brother, but this 
sakes of living on. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. I'd love. Amen. Thank God. Hallelujah. Help me preach right here just a minute. I'm coming to a close. Amen. But I'd love. I know it won't never happen. Amen. But I'd love. Amen. For Houston Prescott to walk through the door right now. I'd love. Amen. For Brother Fletcher Smith to walk through the door right now. Brother. Amen. Brother Hester to walk through the door. Thank God. Hallelujah. Amen. They're going on. But if they can come back and they can see. Uh, even this inheritance uh, it ain't dead uh, it hasn't died out uh, amen thank God it's still alive uh, there's some people that's got a hold of it and it's a living on amen I don't know I couldn't tell you but I have often wondered the Bible said we are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses I have wondered in my mind if somehow or another somewhere in the portals of glory at their rest, yeah. amen, if somehow or another they could catch a glimpse once in a while, amen, and see the church is still going on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank God there's some things. Hear me tonight. I got to come to a close. But there's some things. Some, some of my young people here at the church, amen, some of them says, Brother Andrew, explain to us there's some things we've been raised that may not have been a sin that we, we don't understand. And I know exactly where they're coming from. I know exactly. I was raised as strict as anybody. We raked the grease off of our beans on Sunday, wouldn't even put them in the microwave. Amen. That's just how strict I was raised. Praise God. I'm not throwing no stones at them. Praise God. But some, some has said, Brother Andrew, how about even some of these things are actually not sinful. And I understand. Amen. But you know, till today, there is some things, amen, that I will not do. And it ain't because I think I'm going to go to hell for doing it. But it's because it was part of my inheritance. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. I went to Amen Bali's house today. The lady that works for me. Praise God. She works for me in Larnburg. Praise God. I don't know. She may be watching. I don't know. Amen. By Facebook tonight. But before I went out of her house today, Amen, I looked over there at a picture. And I seen the most sweetest looking, old fashioned, wholeness looking woman I guess I've ever saw. And I looked at that woman and I said, who is that woman? She said, that's my mother. Praise God. And I looked over there and Buddy, her husband, amen, he had a picture of his daddy sitting there. Praise God. I believe he said it was A.J. Flowers. And I looked at him and he said, Brother Andrew, that was my daddy. He was an old fire baptized preacher. And I looked at it, praise God, uh, that old time wholeness woman, that old time wholeness man. Thank God, and I recognized it right off. I said, oh, amen, they got left a heritage. Amen, they got left an inheritance. Glory to God. Hallelujah. There's some things, sister, that might not send me to hell. Amen, but I was raised that way, and I've just got an inheritance and a respect. Amen, for the way I was raised. Thank God. Amen, there's other people that may do it and be fine with doing it. Amen, but I love, amen. Amen. Hear me tonight. Praise God. Amen. There's some things I was raised that maybe I don't keep just like I was raised. Amen. But I want to tell you, amen, I love my inheritance. I thank God, amen, for those old time elders, amen, that blazed the trail before me. And if you think I'm going to bad mouth them, you got another thing coming. If you think I'm going to throw a stone at them, you got another thing coming, brother. I'm telling you, they they had that old time religion and they had faith in God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Might not live just exactly where they did, but I respect it, thank God. It's part of my inheritance. Hallelujah. Thank God. And brother, listen to me. Listen to me. I've got, I've got sense enough to know what they done and they lived. We don't live right up to where they did. 
We don't feel like everything they've done is necessarily necessary. Okay. All right. Listen to me. How's it going to be for the next generation? Your children that comes along. Yeah. Well, mom and daddy done it so and so, but I don't think that's necessarily necessary. They're going to step it down another notch. And then the next generation come along, they'll step it down another notch. And then there's going to come 50 years down the road and you're going to look at the church and wonder, my God, what happened amen, to the inheritance that we had amen, that was handed down to us? Glory to God, I want to keep this thing going. Amen, I want my children to get a hold of it. I don't want it to slip through. Stand with me all over the church tonight. Glory to God. might be unpopular to a lot of people a lot of people might not want it I'm going to tell you what I'm not ready to sell it I'm not ready to cash it in sister it's done too much for me amen I want to hold fast to it the altar's open for the saints anybody would like to come amen let's talk it over with the Lord tonight come and let us pray hallelujah thank God God bless you amen thank you Jesus hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah